MIAA fans, you're watching the MIAA Network 360 show, and I'm your host, Bethany Bowman. In this week's show, we'll take a look back at the MIAA Baseball Tournament and see which MIAA team is making some noise in the NCAA postseason. First game of the tournament, number three seeded Central Oklahoma taking on number six seeded Lindenwood. UCO struck first in the bottom of the third and never looked back on their way to a three to nothing victory over the Lions. UCO pitcher Dylan Hall tossed a complete game one hit shutout in the win. On to game two, number two seeded Missouri Southern taking on number seven seeded Northwest Missouri State. Southern got on the board first in the bottom of the first for a one nothing lead and then in the bottom of the sixth, Freddie Lander sends a deep shot to right field to give the Lions a two nothing advantage. Missouri Southern would tack on two more runs to give them a 4-0 win over the Bearcats. Game three of day one featured top seeded Central Missouri taking on number eight seeded Missouri Western and it's the Griffins coming out hot taking an early 3-0 lead over the Mules. But the Mules making a comeback, they tie it up on a Mason Janvrin RBI single in the bottom of the seventh and take a 5-4 lead in the same inning when Alex Madera's RBI scores Janvrin. That score will hold for the rest of the game, and the Mules escape with a 5-4 victory over the Griffins. Last game of day one, number four seeded Pittsburgh State taking on number five seeded Emporia State. The Hornets struck first in the top of the first inning, taking a 1-0 lead, but the Gorillas regained control in the bottom of the second, taking a 3-1 advantage. Emporia State scored three runs in the top of the third to take a 4-3 lead, but Pittsburgh State not quite done. John Oliver sends one to shortstop, but the throw home is off the mark, allowing Tyson Cushman to score for a 5-4 Gorilla lead. Pitt State held the Hornets scoreless for the rest of the game to take the victory. Day 2, Lindenwood and Northwest Missouri State facing off in an elimination game. It's all tied up at 3 through 8 complete innings until the top of the ninth when Lindenwood's Mitchell Krebs hits the game-winning home run to advance the Lions in the tournament. And the Lindenwood Lions win 4-3 thanks to a ninth inning home run. What were you looking for at the plate there? Um, you know, I was just looking, honestly, I was just looking to get on base. Uh, my role is not really a power hitter, so that was kind of a good uh, surprise, but I was trying to get on base for uh, DJ and Stevens and then uh, having to lose one, so it kind of felt good to uh, come through for the team. Another elimination game on day two, it's win or go home for Missouri Western and Emporia State. The Griffins take an early 1-0 lead, but Emporia State scores two on an RBI by Tanner Arst. In the top of the ninth, Missouri Western down to their last out and Casey Danley comes up big with a three-run home run to lift the Griffins to a 4-2 win. Coming from the jaws of defeat, it's victory for the Griffins. Hit the bat, contact, what are you thinking? You know it's gone? I The win today I didn't know, but it felt pretty good. Um, I'm glad it was gone. So, uh, yeah, it felt really good to come off the bat. Just two runs were the difference in number three seeded Central Oklahoma's victory over number two seeded Missouri Southern. The Broncos used four pitchers in a one-hit shutout led by Gabe Little Jim, who went six innings and struck out five batters. Pitched six scoreless innings, and you guys get the win. So what were you feeling you know, going out there on the mound today? Uh, I just knew I had to execute pitches. Uh, they got me early in the year, and I, I really just wanted to win that game. So uh, it was a lot of fun. We got some timely hits and scored two runs, and that was enough. Last game of day two, Pittsburgh State taking on Central Missouri, both teams undefeated up to this point. Top of the first, Pitt State takes a 1-0 lead on an RBI double by Alex Ochterman. CM's Harrison Schnurbush responds by lining one down the third baseline, and you got to check out this move by Eric Webb. He avoids the tag to score the run for UCM. It's all tied up 1-1. In the top of the third, Pitt State's Ty Heron Brooks sends a shot to right field to give the Gorillas a 3-1 lead. But in the bottom of the eighth inning, with the score all tied at four, UCM Zach Whalen delivers an RBI ground out that would ultimately be the difference in the Mules' 5-4 victory over the Gorillas. On day three, Missouri Southern had to win two games to stay alive in the tournament, and they did just that, first defeating Lindenwood to eliminate the Lions from the tournament and turning right back around to defeat Central Missouri and give the Mules their first loss of the MIAA tournament. To win two games today is extremely hard, um, you know, especially when we got down uh, early in this one. So. Credit to our guys for fighting back. Brad Hershey was, you know, outstanding in relief. And it's just awesome. We watch the team, they're all having fun, yelling in there. This is the most energy I've ever seen out of this team, and it's great. Pittsburgh State also needing to win two games on day three to stay alive in the MIAA tournament. 
The Gorillas first defeated Missouri Western 5-4 to send the Griffins home. In the nightcap game, Pittsburgh State taking on Central Oklahoma where the Gorillas got a clutch performance from their senior pitcher and Pittsburgh native Dante Richardson. He threw a 141 pitch complete game allowing just one run with 12 strikeouts. Uh, honestly, I wasn't thinking a whole lot. I was just pitch by pitch. Feels good, I mean, but game by game we gotta go. Good baseball game, two to one game. You know, that's all we do is play one run games. So uh, good, good, good opportunity to get out here tomorrow. And it's on to Championship Sunday where Central Missouri got a walk-off win over Missouri Southern to start the day and Central Oklahoma followed with another walk-off win against Pittsburgh State. This set up a game between the Mules and the Broncos for the MIAA tournament title. The number one seeded Mules topped the Broncos in the MIAA championship game 10-2 to take the title. Yeah, it was a really fun game. We uh, really took care of the things that we preach as a team and executed and it ended up working out a lot better for us. Um, it was a fun game to pitch and you know these guys were making a lot of plays behind us and uh, it was just you know one of those things where Stambo was like you know just go out there and have fun with it and that's what we did and we just filled up the zone and you know we were successful with that. Three MIAA teams were selected to play in the Division II Baseball Central 2 region. The two seeds Central Missouri hosted that region. Missouri Southern got the seven spot and Central Oklahoma was the number six seed. The Mules came out victorious of that tournament and will now head to Sioux Falls, South Dakota to take on number one seed Augustana in the Super Regional. Best of luck to the MIAA regular season and tournament champion Central Missouri as they now play for a chance to go to the Division II College World Series. We know you'll bring your A-game.